Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn about how can we upgrade the project from .NET framework to the latest version of the .NET. It's like the .NET framework 4.7 or 8 to the .NET 8 version. So we are going to learn about step by step process how it will be. So let me open my Visual Studio. So this is the project which we did last video, basically. So this is a project where our framework version is 4.8.1. So we are going to upgrade that. And our DLL version also the same. So you can see here the version 4.8.1. So let's see have a look whether how it is working so basically we are running the application and this is the additional uh, addition subtraction and multiplication division application which is basically refers that how you can add subtract and multiply so yeah this is makes our application run successfully and let the ui come yeah so it's loaded now finally so you can add one to add subject do it anything you can so it's working fine okay so let's jump into the upgradation part to upgrade the dotnet so you need an extension so you can go to manage extensions and you can install it so it's a dotnet upgrade assistant so you can install this and once you click on the install it will ask you for to close the visual studio you can close it and then you can automatically it will get installed that's all so this is the extension so once you got installed in your project so there is two steps process first to analyze the project whether it's compatible or not and then you make the update application so these are the two processes so let's first jump to the first step. So you can go to your solution and you can just upgrade. So in this step, you have to create the report. So you have to go to new report and you can see what are your dependencies and what are the problems. So you can select it. whether you want to update under home or some specific. So then you can go next. So you can mention which version you want to update. So dot net 8, 9, or 10. So based on that, it will update. So I'll choose dot net 8 and go next. Now it will ask people do you want only your source code and settings or you are handle? So your brand is dependency also to be external or dependency also to be checked. So you can mention that. Also, you can mention what additional settings. For example, you have in your config files or your manifesto files. So you can mention that so that it will be also analyzed. So let's analyze first. So it will take some time. So we analyze each and every component, whether it's upgradable or how it is compatible with the application. And you can see this picture now. Once it's finished, so it will ask you for two projects, high issue, do not be finished, and so it can. So it will be finished, and you can see for how the AP download will get updated. So you can save it for your research. So you can go for project A, nominate, finish, and so And at least it shows how it will be look like. So it will take my research in the First one, do one, three one. So we can we can go for each and every how it is. So let me save it. So I will save it somewhere in my desktop. So that's it. So, so now I will do it. I will update. So this is if you want to do this. So you can go for the trading calculator. For example, first we will update the uh logic one that we will do for calculate. So logic is basically for the PL generator. So let's explain it here first. So I will go with the there is four step process right there. Or sorry four type process right there. So you can go for three step process upgrade, side by 
All the components of HSP. But let's check now the versions whether our application successfully okay. is or not. So we saw previously our application was in four version one, is in R2. The application is in the screen. Let's go to the logic card, which is our base. You can see here the version is of net standard to one but we have to go to that menu. You can let me show you and the Microsoft is mentioned uh, the document framework version is in the real time. It should have switched to document standard in the particular document framework. Why? Because it should support the same operation as in the uh, updated government code. So if you want also to report to me, this document and version for document A to use the internet R. So you can go to solution and download the internet, whatever you have given. So you can see your project first here. So you can just make it that we take by the document A. Okay, so your calculator you can see your project file. Gracias. 